If you're embedding YouTube videos into your Squarespace website, either to promote your channel or even as private videos for a course or membership, you've probably noticed that after a video plays or when you pause the video, that YouTube automatically promotes related videos. So these videos typically touch on a similar topic to your video, but they're often from different YouTube creators and they link back to YouTube. Now this might be totally fine depending on the intention for what you're doing with your videos, but it can get a little bit frustrating if you're trying to get people to stay on your website or engage with just your content or your YouTube channel. The last thing you want as a business owner is for YouTube to drive your potential leads to other creators or other YouTube channels or away from your website. There actually used to be a trick to completely get rid of the related videos on your embedded YouTube videos, but YouTube caught on, I think, and made that impossible. But you can still use this hack to promote only your YouTube related content instead. So while the related videos still show, it will only be content from your YouTube channel. It's not a perfect solution, but embedding with YouTube is free. You get free video hosting, which you can't really get anywhere else. So it's a bit of a compromise. So I'm gonna show you that little trick now. It's pretty easy, so let's jump right in. Okay, so I'm in Squarespace right now. I'm using Squarespace 7.1 Fluid Engine, but it doesn't really matter. This really applies to all Squarespace sites. So position your block anywhere you want on your page. I'm just going to put mine right in the middle. Again, if you're using a different version of Squarespace, the way you add this block is going to be a little bit different, but just add an embed block and position it wherever you want. So if we open up the settings for the embed block, usually when you embed a video from YouTube, the easiest way is just to add the link. So what you would do is you just take the YouTube video that you want to embed, grab the link from up top and paste it in and it's gonna pull that video, which is perfect. The only problem with this method is that it's going to pull related posts from other people's channels. So let me quickly show you that. So when I click pause on the video, it's going to come up some more videos. Luckily the first two are mine, but it is pretty random. The third video is something totally random. And then if you get to the very end of the video, it'll come up with more random suggestions. So depending on what you're trying to do with this video, this might be totally fine, but I'm gonna show you a way now to change it so that it's only showing related videos from your channel. Unfortunately, we can't totally remove the related videos. This is something that you used to be able to do using the exact same method that I'm actually gonna show you, but YouTube's changed it so that you still see related videos, but they're all from your channel. So let me show you how to do that now. So over on YouTube, instead of copying the link, what I'm gonna do is scroll down to the bottom of the video, click share, and then embed. And what that's gonna do is give you this code here. So click on the code and copy it. Then over on your website, you're gonna open up the embed block settings again. Let's remove that URL and then click on code snippet. Click embed data, paste the code in and you'll notice it's gonna pull your YouTube video very similarly to how it did before. So now there's two final things that we need to do to make this work. The first thing is we need to add a little bit of text at the end of your video URL. So you can see I've highlighted this here it's the youtube.com slash embed slash, and then it will have a random string of numbers. And it's in between these two quotation marks. So what you wanna do is put your cursor right in between that final letter and the final quotation mark. And you're gonna type in question mark, R-E-L equals sign and the number zero. So question mark, R-E-L zero. So I've added that there and you can see it's in between the final letter or number and the final quotation mark. So that piece right there, that's gonna change it so that the related videos are only coming from your channel and it's not showing your video watchers other people's channels. So let me quickly show you how that looks now. We've added the code. So you can see now when I hit pause on the video, it's only showing videos from my channel and it's showing a lot of videos from my channel, which is awesome. And then if we skip to the end, let's have a look at those related posts at the end. Again, they're only from my channel now, so that's perfect. The final thing that we need to do, which is really important, is we need to set a cover image for this because unfortunately, when you use that YouTube embed code, the video block doesn't scale correctly. I'll show you when I move the screen around, you'll see that the video block doesn't stay in the middle, 
it holds its size the whole way so much so that it just gets totally cut off i'll show you what it looks like in mobile view you can see it's totally cut off here so it's basically just staying the same size it's not in the center which is not ideal you know we need it to scale proportionally with the screen size now there's a bunch of different fancy codes that you can add to do this but the easiest way by far to fix this problem in squarespace is to open up that embed block again and add a custom featured image so basically here you're going to add a thumbnail to your video so if you're using videos from youtube anyway it's likely that you've already created a thumbnail so for example you can see i've actually already got a thumbnail for this if i uploaded it here that would be perfect but you can really upload anything it depends how you're using these videos but if you add something i'm just going to select something totally random from my library this one looks like pretty good proportions for what i need now you can see that that image is the cover image of the video. And now you'll see again that it actually scales properly now. So you can see that it's scaling with the size of the screen. And if we look in mobile view, it's perfectly positioned. So that is the fastest and easiest way to make sure that embedded video from YouTube with using the code is scaling properly because if you don't add that cover image you're going to have a lot of scaling issues okay that's it it's pretty easy that's how you embed the video from youtube and change the related videos that are suggested to only be from your channel it's not that much harder than just adding the link so i always recommend embedding them this way anyway you know you want to keep people on your channel that's the whole point of you using youtube so this is a really pretty easy and quick method to do that if you have any questions put them in the comments below Otherwise, I will see you in the next video.